If you've heard of DeFi, then you've probably heard of Curve Finance or the Curve DAO token CRV. Curve was launched in January 2020 and benefited from the DeFi boom that came in the spring of that year. Curve's decentralized exchange or DEX has an important role to play in Ethereum's DeFi ecosystem. Using the platform's automated market maker or AMM, traders can exchange stablecoins like USDC and DAI and other assets like wrapped Bitcoin, REN BTC, which of course follow the price of Bitcoin on Ethereum. Curve's AMM ensures that you don't need a buyer or a seller on the other side of your order. Even if no one is selling on the day that you use the Curve DEX, you can still complete your trade. This useful function is thanks to Curve's liquidity pools. Users who stake or deposit their tokens into Curve pools help the platform by providing the liquidity that the AMM relies on. And they are, of course, rewarded for this service with a percentage of the platform's trading fees. In some Curve pools, users can also earn trading fees from other platforms. So an example of this is the SUSD and SBTC pool, where liquidity providers can deposit stable assets that belong to the synthetics platform. Users who commit to these pools can earn both CRV and also a designated share of the Synthetics SNX token. In fact, you may have already used Curve without even knowing it. Many other DeFi protocols like Compound and One Inch Exchange are plugged into Curve to take advantage of their stablecoin trading market. Other DEXs like Uniswap have much higher room for slippage. Now, this is because users need to be able to trade more volatile crypto assets without suffering repeated failed transactions. Because Curve is trading mostly stable assets that should not be volatile, it has a slippage basis of just 0.06%, ensuring that stablecoin trades are more efficient and that traders get exactly what they want. Nobody wants to swap $10,000 of USDT for just 9,800 USDC. Where's the rest of it? The rest of it. There is no rest of it. Users who have engaged in yield farming will probably also have interacted with Curve at some point or another. Those who wish to profit from the best stablecoin returns on Yearn Finance, for example, will definitely have used Curve through the back end of the Yearn platform. When Curve became a decentralized autonomous organization or DAO in the summer of 2020, it also launched its own token, CRV. Seeing as the Curve Dex already had a lot of traffic, there was also a lot of hype ahead of its release. But the CRV token price proved unsuitable and actually fell from $30 to just $3 within a week of becoming available. Some investors were also unhappy about the governance and tokenomics of CRV because it actually led to around 71% of the voting power being allocated to its founder, Michael Aragov. Other than governance, the CRV token doesn't really have many additional use cases and is actually used primarily to reward users who provide liquidity to the Curve protocol. Curve also shares a problem of high gas fees with other Ethereum-based platforms, but have actually sought to address this by partnering up with the scalability solution Polygon Network. So this gives Curve users the opportunity to not only save on gas fees, but also to earn the Polygon Matic token in Curve liquidity pools. And so long as DeFi on Ethereum continues to grow, Curve's efficient liquidity solution should continue to grow alongside it. The platform is still offering new pools and trading pairs and seeing a high volume of user activity. Solutions like this show that Curve is perhaps one of the best examples in the crypto space of the money Lagos ethos, platforms that can be integrated into other platforms to take advantage of an ever more interconnected financial world. So guys, if this video helps you understand Curve Finance and the Curve DAO token, then hit those like and subscribe buttons and we will keep the videos coming.